Hello, Happy New Year. We are still in the mode of the Celtic New Year, which begins at Samhain or Halloween. Um, the Celts, they followed the wheel of the earth, so it's only natural that the new year begins now because this is when the seeds are falling. And as with um, a new life of any kind of life, it goes into the darkness first, it grows and then it delivers into the world just like a baby and of course it's also the new year for the Celts at this time because um, during the winter the sheep and the cattle would be in you know they'd have their young growing and they'd all be delivered in the springtime so this is the Celtic new year and for me I like to have a big deep clean because we're going into winter where it's getting darker each day and it's more difficult to see the grime and the cobwebs and um, it's the last chance really to have a good deep clean. So this is our back kitchen. This is where we do a lot of work where we're bringing things in from the garden. It gets dirty pretty quickly. So I'm just going to have a deep clean now and I'm going to show you how I do it with my own homemade cleaning agents. This is our back kitchen and Lol built this about 10 or 12 years ago. It's mainly from recycled or upcycled material that I used to have in my shop in Clifton. So all the wood, the shelves um, and the countertop here, that was the shop counter. It's all been recycled into here and then the doors of the cupboards are made by pallets. So this, this is a small space but it gives us tons of storage and um, it costs next to nothing. It's insulated with sheep's wool that we can get locally for pennies and um, everything else was either made by lol or recycled or we got for an absolute bargain. I think the only thing we bought were the tiles and the roof because it comes out as an extension. But in that mode of recycling and upcycling and making do and reusing I also keep hold of any um, old bottles to make laundry liquid and I'll put a card up here you can click on that and see how to make your own laundry liquid but I also like to make little cleaning lotions as well and so simple so cheap some bread soda or bicarbonate of soda just put it into a little container I mean this is a few pence it doesn't cost much at all And then lemon juice. I don't use fresh lemon juice because we use it, but this is 50 cents or some ridiculous price in the supermarket. And just put a little squirt of lemon juice in and mix it all up. I'm going to add some white vinegar, just a tiny half a teaspoon even. And then I just add a squirt of Castile soap. So I'm now left with a cleaning agent that is very, very effective. It's a little bit abrasive. It's antibacterial because of the lemon juice. And um, it does a fantastic job on practically, well, I use it on bath enamel, you know, the sinks, the baths. I use it on the stove top as well to clean any greasy spills. So just dampen your cloth and dip it into your mixture so I've made a window cleaner spray which is vinegar and lemon juice and um, what else did I put in I think I put a little squirt of um, dish liquid soap and um, old tea towels or t-shirts make brilliant cleaning rags dusters so I've got a couple here that I'm about to cut up and I've got this one that I've already started using. So I'll just take these down. And there's a rainbow that we can see now. I think everybody does their best at New Year. They try to think of things that they can do that can make the world a better place. So I think that's why I like to use my own cleaning agents because 
For one thing, I'm not giving money to the global corporations that are doing so much damage to communities and society as a general, but also it's very kind to the environment. There's nothing harmful in the cleaning agents that I use. The only thing you have to add um, is elbow grease. And I think a lot of people might think, you know, a lot of people who try this might be surprised at how much elbow grease you have to put in because the toxic traditional or more common cleaning agents, they're, they're so caustic and harsh that they pretty much strip things um, without any effort from the person who's doing the cleaning. So some people might think it's very odd to have a new year at this time of the year because it's we're so used to having it on January the 1st, which is the kind of the calendar date for the new year. But it makes sense as well because everything that is alive came from the darkness. So we are now going into the darkness of winter and um, our ancestors in the past would have sat around talking, making plans, as we all do anyway at the new year, but especially now because the seeds are falling and this is when we can really plant those metaphorical seeds for the future. But also, it's a time where we rest, we go into the darkness, the hibernation of winter, we make our plans, we tell our stories. We can really sit with our aspirations for the future because there's nothing else to be doing. Whereas come January, middle of January, we're starting to plant our gardens and sow seeds for the garden, so we're back being busy again. This is the time of year where we can relax, we can plan, we can dream, and we can visualize the future that we want. And never has it been more important than now. There are many, many speakers who are talking about using the power of our imagination to create a better world. So now at this Celtic New Year, as we descend into the darkness of hibernation and storytelling, we can be telling stories for the future, that we want to see happen. And we can give it our energy because the rest of the year we're too busy. So another aspect of the deep clean is to go outside as well and to clean up the garden. And of another aspect again of the Celtic New Year making plans is to walk the garden, have a look at what needs to be done, make some notes, make some plans. So we've lots of plans, as we had last year, which we didn't completely fulfill. But, you know, you just make your list again and keep at it. And um, this time we're going to move some of the rearrange the beds or what's in the beds. But there's a lot of cutting back to do, a lot of strimming and weeding to do and um, and the preparation of the beds for next year. So I've pulled out the last of the spuds and I'm taking out all the weeds and then I will be putting down some seaweed manure and maybe some farm manure. But um, it's an ongoing tidying up job and we can only get out in between the showers and the wind. But um, Whenever we get a moment, it's nice to get outside for that fresh air and to see the shape of the trees as they lose their leaves, to see all the different autumn colours and to see the birds as they're going about their business looking for fruits and seeds and things. And there's some lovely um, natural plants and things that we can bring into the house to make the house look nice. So there's lots of hydrangea heads, there's seed heads of all shapes that are just beautiful. So um, that's something I'm looking forward to doing as well. And apart from the tidying up, as I was saying, because it's the Celtic New Year and we're planting those metaphorical seeds and we're making our dreams and aspirations and visualizing a wonderful future, I do the same with the garden. I go around and make a few plans, make a list. I love lists and I love crossing things off a list. And if I didn't cross things off the last list, I just move them onto the new list. And it's just a nice continuation of um, the plans and the aspirations. And then that huge sense of fulfillment when you can finally cross something off. So it's all, everything is in progress. Everything is in flux. And it's lovely to just go with the flow of that in between the deep cleaning.
So it's nice to go into the new year feeling clean and tidy. And remember, we're cleaning away the physical dirt, but we're also cleaning away negative energy. So always sweep towards your exit, your back door or your front door or wherever it is that you're cleaning out of the room so that that negative energy is taken out as well. And we can move into the new year with um, not just a clean house, but a clean, a clean sensibility, uh, you know, really giving yourself a fresh start for this new Celtic new year. So as you can see, we've got cobwebs everywhere in all of these little, all of these little knickknacks that are around the house. They're just dust gatherers, but we all love them. So um, I'm going to get on with my cleaning and I hope you, I wish you all the best for the new year. You know, it is time of seed fall, so we can sow our metaphorical seeds for the coming year. So let's sow seeds for peace, for um, good fortune for people, good health for everybody and happiness. And that's what I wish you now. So I'll see you next week. I'm going to get on with my cleaning. I hope you enjoyed today's film. If you did, subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. And have a look at the website, danusirishherbgarden.com, for more information about us and about the herbal medicine courses I offer and the Wise Woman Way training. And if you go to the shop, you can find the books, the weed handbooks and other herbal goodies. And remember, we put a new film out every Sunday. So looking forward to seeing you next week.